Hello friends, how do you feel to know that there is a method existing in this world to know from where you have evolved? That method is basically phylogenetic reconstruction. So if you want to know more, then watch the video. students welcome back to my channel so this video will be in continuation of the bioinformatics series that I have been doing on this channel in the previous video I have told that how you can create a phylogenetic tree using a UPG method and as told in this uh, previous video uh, there are various methods that you from which you can create a phylogenetic tree so in this video we will be describing or we will be discussing another method which is known as neighbor joining method to create a phylogenetic tree so if you're really interested to create a phylogenetic tree just under 5 to 10 minutes then you should really watch this video in complete before starting uh, just a small request if you are new to my channel then you can subscribe to my channel if you are uh, if you do if you like my video then please like the video and show your love in the comment box so let's start we'll start by giving a brief introduction about who is the scientist who gave this method and uh, in which year it was developed by the scientists. So neighborhood joining method or you can call it neighbor joining method NJ tree is an inference method which was originally written by Saito and Nye in 1987. It belongs to a class of distance based method used to build evolutionary tree. NJ method takes a matrix of pairwise evolutionary distances between the given sequences to build an evolutionary tree. So basically what it means, it means that before creating a phylogenetic tree based on an NJ method, we will require a distance based matrix. A distance based matrix is a matrix which gives a distance uh, distances between two different species or various species among each other. We will see uh, with the help of an example in the next few slides that how do, uh, from where we will start uh, the distance based matrix and how we will create the neighbor joining uh, how we will create a phylogenetic tree using neighbor joining method so this is the first tree which was created by uh, the scientist it was the tree uh, which is composed of 18 human groups constructed using neighbor joining method based on 23 kinds of genetic information it was made by Saito and Naira professor at the National Institute of Genetics Japan in 2002. So as you can see this is a normal phylogenetic tree showing different branches or different uh, categories of humans uh, which have evolved from a particular node of a particular uh, ancestors. So what we do in neighbor joining method is uh, in each stage there are the two nearest nodes of the tree are chosen and they are defined as neighbor. So the two nearest or the two uh, two species of the two texas which are closely related to each, each other based on the distance matrix will uh, we will take these two mat uh, texas and they will combine these and we will join them with a particular single node and we call these two species of texa as neighbors so neighbors are defined as a pair of otus who have one node connecting them where otu is operational taxonomic unit or in other words node of the tree the number of operation is proportional to n raised to power 3 where n is the number of sequence it means that uh, how many times we can create a node is uh, the number we can get from this formula n raised to power 3 where n is the number of sequences how many sequences we are taking or how many texas we are taking for a particular creation of a particular uh, phylogenetic tree so we will start by this example now suppose we are taking an example we are having six Texas, six different Texas, and this is the distance matrix. This is a hypothetical distance matrix which we have created uh, just uh, to show that how distantly these uh, species are related and how closely these are related. Like the uh, distance between A and B is 5, A and C is 4. So the lower the distance, the more closely these two uh, species or Texas are related. So we will start by step 1. Calculate the net divergence R for each Texas 
from all the taxa. So, we have to calculate R i which is basically the total distance of taxa i from all other taxa. Like suppose, if we have to uh, substitute the number a or taxa a, so we will calculate the total distance of taxa a from all other species or taxa. So, how we do that? We will do that by formula d i 1 plus d i 2 and so on till the number n. So, uh, in this matrix, we have calculated the formula. Uh, the values for the example of calculating R d is let us suppose we have to calculate R d. So, uh, the distance will be R d, the distance of d to a is 7, then d to b is 10, then d to c is 7, then d to d is 0 obviously, then d to e is 5 and d to f is 9. So, uh, likewise we have calculated all these R uh, or the next net divergence from the for all the species like R A, R B, R C, R D, R E and R. Uh, so, if you have to calculate the distance, there is a shortcut we calculate an R A we can calculate, R B can calculate by the formula also, but there is a shortcut if you have to calculate it suppose R B, then we will talk about the start from this number 5 and then after reaching towards in the column B, then we will take 5, 7, 10, 9 and 11. Like if suppose we have to calculate R C, then we will start from A 4, then B 7 and after reaching the column C, we will start downward 7, 6, 8. You can see 4, 7, 7, 6, 8. So, this is a shortcut method to create to calculate R C or R B or the uh, net divergence from each other taxa. Now, let us suppose, uh, now this is the second step. Now, we have to calculate the new distance matrix M using the following formula for each pair of taxa. Now, we have calculated the R. Now, we have calculate, we, ha we have to calculate M. Uh, M is, the formula is M i j like the distance between 2 is B i j minus R i plus R j divided by N minus 2. So, if we had to calculate uh, distance between 2 taxa A and B, then it will be calculated by the formula d a b minus r a plus r b upon n minus 2. So, the uh, these all values we have calculated m a b. So, d a b we can calculate from the distance matrix the, which is 5, r a we have calculated, r b f we have calculated and n is 6. So, we will get the value as minus 13. Same wise we will, we will calculate all the values for m a b. Uh, then all the values for M A C, M A D and M A E, we, have we will calculate all these values and we will fill the matrix in R. So, we will create a different matrix. So, all the values have been calculated here. Like so, the distance between A and B is minus 13, distance between A and C is minus 11.5. Now, we will start by a tree. We will consider that we have to start with this tree that where all the species are equidistant from the single parent node. Okay. Now, what is the third step? Now, using the new matrix, find the closest pair of taxa. Now, in this matrix, we have to find the two taxa which are closely related. Now, uh, how we can say that they are closely related? We have to check the, the two taxa which is having the least amount of distance or the lowest distance among themselves. So, if we see that the taxa A and B is the lowest number is minus 13 here and here. So, we have two values A and B and D and E. So, we will focus uh, for A and B in this example. So, uh, now the consider the lowest distance and assign U as the connecting node for that pair. Branch length is then calculated using formula. So, after identifying these two uh, close related taxas, we have to consider them as neighbor and we have to consider join them with a uh, single node U and then we have to calculate the distance between uh, U and the two different taxonomic uh, groups like I and J. So, uh, if you have to calculate the distance between I and U, the node which is connecting I and J, then the formula is Dij divided by 2 plus Ri minus Rj divided by 2 and minus 2. The distance between uh, J and U is Dij minus Siu. So, as per the matrix M, the closest tax size we have already calculated it is minus 13. So, distance between U and A and U and B is calculated as A S A U as D A B upon 2 plus R A minus R B divided by 2 and minus 2. So, the value comes out to be 1 so, and S B U is calculated as 5 minus 1 as 4. So, we, are, we now know that uh, there is a common node between which is joining A and B. 
and the distance with this node of this node u from a is 1 and from b it is 4. So, we have generated this part of the phylogenetic tree. Now, we will move further, we will go to step 4. Now, calculate the new distance from u to all other texas. Now, likewise, we have a phylogenetic tree. Now, we have to calculate the new, we have generated a new node u. So, we have to calculate all the distances, all the taxonomic distances of different texas from u. So, the formula for that is d u k is d i k plus d j k minus d i j divided by 2. So, the four values of the remaining a and b have we have already calculated. So, remaining four c, d, e and f the distance between them and the common node u can be calculated as d a c plus d b c minus d a b upon 2. So, the value will be 3 and from where we can get the value the distance between a and c from the parent matrix we can get the values. Now, based on these we will create a new distance matrix. The other distance matrix remain as has the new matrix distances matrix will be. So, the distance between u and we have removed a and b and we have uh, combined them as one single unit as u. So, the distance between c and u will be here 3, then d and u will be 6 and e and u is 5, then f and 7, f and u is 7. Uh, rest of all the distances will remain same because nothing has much changed. So, distance between c and u has changed, but distance between the c and d will not has not been changed. So, the values will be same. So, distance between d and c is 7 like in the initial matrix then the e and c is a 6 and f and c is 8. So, the nothing much has changed only the distance between the new node which we have created by combining the two nodes a and b or the texas is put into this distance matrix. So, now we can generate or we can put the values of v because we know that a is closely much closer to the common node u than b. So, we have put the distance here 1 and 4. So, now this is the first step of the phylogenetic tree which we have to create. We have joined two te different taxonomic group based on the distance matrix values. Now, we have to see that this is a one single unit and so the total number of nodes or the total number of different taxonomic units within, uh, uh, within the particular example is reduced to n minus 1. Initially, we were having 6. Now, since, since these two has been combined to 1, so they are, we have reduced the total number of nodes or the total number of taxonomic units as 5. Now, we have to repeat the entire process starting from the step 1 till we again reach to the value where n is equal to 4. Then, and we have to complete the cycle again and again till we reach a value where n is equal to 0. So, finally, we will get a uh, phylogenetic tree which will be having all the uh, tech different taxonomic units arranged in a particular fashion showing the different distances between the common node and the uh, distances between the different taxonomic units. So, this is how you can create uh, the phylogenetic tree using uh, this method. Now, you do not have to do this manually. This all is the basic uh, algorithm which has been designed by the scientists. You do not have to do, do this manually because it would be a very cumbersome task because in real life practical problem, you will not be having 5 different taxonomic units or let us say 10 tex different taxonomic units. You may have thousands of taxonomic units and because this is a 5, uh, in this example, I have taken only 5 or uh, 6 units. So, this is looking at a simple example even though this is a, diff is a complicated example, but since these are only 6 units, so this is a pretty simple, but once you, once you, when you think, once you think about the thousands of taxonomic units and you have to calculate and you have to do this manually, then it would be an impossible task for a human. So, that is why we have, the scientists have created the algorithms to the, com to complete the process for you. Now, the uh, various different taxon, various different softwares which you are using to generate the phylogenetic tree is, one software is the phylip package. Phylip package is the well-known uh, software which we which is commonly used by the scientists to create a phylogenetic tree. Another one is Crustal W, and another one is Prod ML package. So this marks the end of this uh, video. Uh, I hope you have liked the video. I have tried to summarize the complete uh, method in as much less time as possible. Okay. Uh, once again, another request, if you have liked the video, then please 
share the video like the video and do share your love in the comment box if if you want to uh, if you want to the world to know my youtube channel then you can put the uh, link of my video to your facebook or you, you can share it on different social media platforms so okay bye bye thank you for now we'll see you in the next video